Hi. This week, we are going to continue on with our Spaceship Blaster game tutorials. So in the first step, we created the Unity scripts and the basic framework for getting um, all of our game pieces functioning. So now we need to actually create some spaceships. So we're going to go into Blender and we're going to make three spaceships. Now, I wish I was a great Blender modeler. I would say I'm getting better. If I look back to um, what I was doing six months ago, I'm definitely better, but I still have a ways to go. Um, and the tricky thing about working in Blender is every once in a while something happens that's not expected. And when I was making my medium spaceship, or actually my small spaceship, I ran into an issue that I kind of um, had me stump for a couple minutes and I figured it out um, and Thankfully for you, I fast forwarded through that part, but it's not unusual that something happens that you've never really seen before um, and it takes you a bit to figure out and that's okay. Um, I know uh, using Blender can be um, overwhelming and it can be frustrating at times, I would say, and I have done that basic uh, Blender um, modeling um, tutorial and if you are struggling to understand um, how some of the some of some of the features uh, work that I've been using, um, definitely go back and watch that video because I've kind of captured what stumped me when I was watching uh, people do Blender modeling. So if you don't really want to sit and watch 40 minutes of me making spaceships, um, you can wait till the next video. So in the next video, I'm going to be taking these spaceships and kind of prepping them in Blender to export to Unity, um, setting up some of the uh, orient, um, orientation points and actually exporting them correctly to Unity and integrating them into our game. But if you want to watch me make some spaceships and you want to get better at modeling, uh, please watch, uh, watch me go. All right, so we're going to put our programming glasses on and get modeling in Blender. All right, so let's get started making our first spaceship. So the first one I'm going to make is a large, we'll call it a transport ship. So we need to make three ships, one large, one medium, one, one small. So this one's going to be the large one. Now, I'm not as fast um, as some in making um, <clears throat> drawings in Blender, and I'm getting better, but I think I can make a nice looking transport ship. So let's start. Let's go into, oops, didn't want to do that. Select that guy, go into edit mode. We are going to actually scale this whole thing in object mode in the Y direction. Let's make it longer, so about this long. Go into edit mode. You're going to make a set of ring subdivides I want to make it so I have three sections with a section in between so one in between two in between three so one less one in between two in between and three all right so I have my subdivides that way. <clears throat> I'm going to do is to first make the front. So I'll go back. So like this guy, what I'm going to do is inset. I'm going to scale down a little bit. I'm going to scale in the Z direction. Flatten out. All right. Extrude him out. This is going to be the center point a little bit extrude out again I'm going to ring select this guy I'm going to scale him 
Oops, I do not want to scale in the y direction, so I want to scale in the x direction. Scale in the z oops. Scale in the z direction. Scale z. There we go. What I'm going to do is I want to round him out a bit. It's inset scale. Extrude scale. Just going to inset scale. Extrude scale down. It's actually a little wide. So I'm going to go up here, wireframe mode. Select all of him. Back to solid mode. Scale him down. That's better. All right. So what I want to do is inset here, scale down there, extrude there, scale down. All right. So it's kind of the cockpit there. What I'm going to do is I want to make it a little rounded on top, so I'm going to subdivide this. All right, grab that middle guy. I'm going to grab Z. All right, so we get a little top cockpit area. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the three container pods. So let's. Ring select that, inset, select. Oop, you know what I'm going to want to do? I want to do all three at once, the exact same. So I'm going to shift, alt select that. So I hold on the shift key to get both of them. Inset, scale. No, but that's not exactly what I want because it gets scaled toward the insides. So I'm going to do one at a time. It did it because I, the scaling, there is options to scale it exactly how I wanted it. I'm just going to look from the top so I can get it the same. All right. So now I'm going to ring select this guy, shift, I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to, oops, I want to scale them the X direction and scale them in the Z direction. All right. Pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is give them a little, oops, I'm going to select the whole thing here and auto mirror it. Did I auto mirror it? Got one too many. Let's get rid of that one. Back here, I'm going to select these guys. Inset. What I need to do is change how I scale these. So you'll notice that this gives me an option for, right now it's scaling around the median point. I'm going to scale around individual. All right. Grab Z. All right, that's what I wanted. Select all these. Inset scale. Grab Z. All right. So I'm going to do the same for 
these. But in this one, I'm just going to grab X, just kind of, oops, it's not what I wanted, to inset. Just gonna move the video a little bit. Grab X. All right. So now we got kind of some cargo containers here. All I need to do is I need to get some engines. So I'm going to extrude out scale Z like that. Extrude out like this. Scale X. Oops, I actually want to ring select this whole thing. Scale in the X direction. So I want is I want a bulge out here so I can get the engine attached. So I guess I'm gonna grab Z like this, fatten it out a little bit. Grab Z like that, fatten that out a bit. And I'm going to subdivide this. it like that. All right. So I'm going to grab these middle guys. One thing I can do is if I go from the side, zoom in a bit, I can do circle select. So now I can just click and drag to select faster. All right. So now I'm going to do is turn on my proportional to grab Z a little bigger. Oops, I actually want to grab in the X direction. Yep, that's perfect. All right, so now I want to insert my engine here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the, where is it? Oops, dragged off the bottom. And now I forgot to, shoot, turn on my screencast keys. I'm sorry. All right. So, Need to change the three D cursor. Where is it? Nope, that's not it. Oh yes, yeah. shift, right click, shift A, insert my cylinder, go side view. I want to decrease the number of vertices here to eight. I want to rotate, whoops, turn that proportional off, rotate that guy 90 degrees. Want to scale him down a bit. All right, I want to scale in the Y direction. Grab in the Y direction, want the front to stick out a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to want to add some ring select guys here. So I'm going to Control R, add some of that, like that. I'm going to go into wireframe mode because I need to grab. This guy, oops, two to be on edge select. Oops, I'm gonna scale in to grab the right one. There we go. To grab 
in the y direction move him out a little bit right to about there back to solid mode oops i wonder if i grab the right one there face select scale down that's interesting I dragged it all the way to the end. Hmm. It's interesting. It's okay. We'll grab him. Oops. Grab in the Y direction, scale him down a bit more, extrude him in. All right, now I'm going to grab him. I wonder where those other wings are if I scale it. No, that's okay. I'm going to flare it out a bit. Inset him, scale, extrude, pull him in. I'm going to scale him again. All right, so we got a nice engine. All right. Let's get a bit more interest in here. Let's inset, scale. X. Grab Z. Set scale. Grab Z. I'm going to grab Z and bring him up a bit more. All right. Basic transport ship. Now we're going to color him. Let's go to object mode. Select my <coughs> little poly, which I already had set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode, right click, unwrap faces, reset. Then I'm going to go into UV editing. Oops. I'm going to select all. No, I did not reset all of them. There we go. So we reset all of them, and we are going to scale them down to fit inside one of these squares. I find if I make it too small, sometimes I get errors when I export. I'm going to grab, and we're going to make this kind of uh, off white here. Uh, Z, go to rendered. All right. Just and they don't look very white. I don't. I don't think I have much light. Oh, that's why. I turned off my light. I have this other collection. Yeah, I'm gonna quick turn on that collection and hide all these other ships that I had made. All right, so now I got my light back on. The light was in this collection, which I had disabled. All right, so I got my, <clears throat> so here's my light. Um, I 
want to do is I want to add a bit other color. So I'm going to hit L to select all of them in that separate mesh that I made. And I'm going to grab those guys. I'm going to make those a bit darker gray. Mm, a bit too gray. Let's make it like that. Okay. Now what I want some interest on these guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select. I wonder if I can subdivide all these at once. Yes, I can. All right, that's what I wanted. What I'm going to do is go into and select this guy. I'm going to have snap on. So I'm snapping to closest vertice. I'm going to grab and snap him to that guy. Grab this, grab, snap him to that guy. Grab this, grab, snap him to that guy. This, grab, snap him to that guy. Oops, I snapped it to the wrong one there. Grab, there we go. Let's do a side view there, a little easier. Grab, snap him to that guy. Grab, snap them to that guy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into face select, select, select these guys. I'm going to grab those and go like that. Let's get a little, uh, little bit. Um, more coloration there. Go in here and maybe select these guys. Make those. Select these guys. Sometimes you might want to make faces. When you're doing low poly, Remember, you're not going to see a lot of shading, so all right, I think that's good enough. All right, now we're ready to make our medium spaceship. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this. Scale it, oops, in the Y direction. All right, select, scale, Y. All right, what I'm gonna do is, go into edit mode, control R. I'm just gonna make one. I'm going to move it back to here. I'm gonna go, let's turn on auto mirror. Select this front. We want to kind of scale down in the front. So we're going to scale it. We kind of want to kind of slope. Scale in the X direction a bit. Oop. Scale Y direction. Oops. Scale Z direction. All right. Then what we're going to want is select this. Let's add some rings to him. All right. Oops. Let's do that again. All right. Let's go into face select. Going to want is we want this a bit wider. Let's just go to the top, go to wireframe, box in him, back to solid, 
scale him out, scale him in the x direction. All right, let's grab these guys. Let's grab Z. Oops. To actually inset a bit, scale. Grab Z. Yep, to raise him up. I'm gonna grab these back too. Inset, scale, grab Z. This is actually not what I wanted to do. Just want to grab Z. Yeah, there's what I want. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a cockpit, another raised cockpit. So I'm going to grab this middle part, grab Z on him, pop him up a bit. All right. So now let's something interesting on the sides. So let's grab him. So control R. All right. Going to make some engines here. So go top view. Let's extrude him out. Screw down a bit more. Going to R for rotate. Extrude out. For rotate a bit more. Extrude out. And let's rotate so it's about parallel. All right. To do is scale him down. What we're going to want to do is actually, I want ring select him, scale him down a bit too. Ring select him. We should have scaled it as we are going, but we can always fix that this way. What I'm going to do is to face select, select these guys. I'm going to grab Z to bring them up a bit. And I think I want this guy. Oops. Grab Z, bring him up a bit. All right. So we got a little elevation on that. So I'm going to grab these guys. I have to face select. Let's scale them out a bit. Yep. Extrude. We're going to ring select these whole thing. Scale that out a bit. There we go. Scale it in the Z direction. Oops. Scale it in the X direction. All right. Now let's grab these guys. Set scale extrude scale. Ring set. This time we're going to grab Z. All right. What I'm going to do is put some big old engines in here. So let's go and do shift. Right. Move the 3D cursor right there. Alt A. Insert a cylinder. It defaults to that same eight. Go to side. Do the rotate. 
Make sure it's 90 degrees. Scale that guy down. A little bit bigger. All right. Scale it in the Y direction. Yeah, it's actually sticking out probably far enough. All right. So what I'm going to do is control R. Bit like that. Select this face, scale it, inset it, scale it, extrude it, scale it. All right, so we got some engines on this guy. And I think it needs some blasters, so. I'm going to do is up top here. I'm going to grab this point. I'm going to, I want it right above the other point to square up this back. So I want it, this point to have the same Y value as this point. So I'm going to grab it, scale Y, hold down Alt, yep. Grab it, Y, snap. All right, so now I'm kind of flattened out the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this face, screw him out a bit. I'm going to grab this face, extrude him. Oops, actually not extrude. I want to inset. Scale them down. All right. Extrude him up. To inset him, scale. Extrude, scale. Kind of give some dimension there. I don't want to flatten this guy out. So I'm going to grab this guy. Grab Z, control, snap. Grab Z, control, snap. See, so now it's flat, right? I'm going to grab this guy, inset, scale, oops, inset, scale. Extrude. 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 Scale. Inset. Scale. All right, grab that guy, grab that guy, extrude, scale bigger, extrude, extrude, scale smaller. All right, grab this guy, inset. Scale X, extrude, scale, let's do some ring select here, let's ring select him, select him, him, inset, scale, all right, so now we got some big old blasters on him, maybe grab that guy, grab that guy, inset, scale,
scale. Let's do extrude faces along individual. Just hit Control E gets this optional extrude. All right, so then you get a nice symmetrical. All right, now let's let's color this guy. Hmm, I wonder if this cockpit is kind of featureless. Inset scale extrude. Zoom him in a bit. All right, probably improve a little bit, but I think this is good enough for our game. Now let's select all. Let's unwrap faces, reset. UV editing. Oops, we did not assign it to a our low poly. Scale, select all these guys, scale them down, zoom in a bit, scale them down, let's grab them, let's make this like a dark green, all right, that looks good, now let's give some interest, let's, uh, Have all these guys. Oops. Zoom in a bit. Let's grab that. Let's make it bright green. Get some interest to it. Let's grab these guys. Grab that. Make it dark. Now we can make use of our control plus to select. Oops. Hmm. Didn't want to select that guy. Grab that. It's going to be dark gray. Let's grab this guy. Nope. Grab this guy. It's control plus. It's a lot easier than trying to grab all those individually. All right. Let's do shift alt select ring select these. I'm going to make these bright green also. All right. Uh, maybe we should do something with the engines. Let's maybe extend that brighter green to the engine. There we go. Yeah, and I think that's good enough for our medium spaceship in our game. So what we're going to do is going to come up here. I'm going to hide this guy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our small ship. So let's oops, go back to layout mode, shift C. Mesh cube. All right, scale y direction. Edit mode. Control R. Make some things like this. Oops. Let's just click. 
now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into object mode. I'm going to scale it in the Z direction. So I want to flatten it out a bit. Scale in the X direction. I want it a bit wider. Maybe like that. Let's auto mirror it. Now let's go into the top mode. Actually, what I need to do is select this guy, go into top mode, turn on proportional. I'm going to scale this guy down like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these guys. Just this guy. From the top, I'm going to grab him, kind of widen out. All right. What I'm going to do is grab these guys. I'm going to subdivide those. Let's do a few more. All right. Grab these guys here. Oops, deselect. Select these guys here. Let's grab Z. Let's shrink this down a bit. All right. So now we got kind of a cockpit there. I'm going to grab Z again, but this time I'm going to shrink it way down. All right, it's going to be kind of a small, fast ship. So let's grab this guy here, go to top view, extrude him out, extrude, rotate, extrude, actually scale down. Extrude, rotate. Oh, we gotta turn this guy off. Hmm. Top view, wanted to get that grid. Make sure it's rotated as parallel as possible there. All right, scale. I'm going to go into ring select that edge. Let's see. Oops, grab that guy. All right, I'm going to grab these edges here. I'm going to grab Z, a little dimension. Let's, oops. Go and face select, grab these guys. Let's do an inset scale. Grab Z, scale. All right, again, this is just a small, fast ship. Let's give it some engines. Let's extrude out here. Scale, extrude, scale. We don't want that that low, do we? And we don't. What we could do is let's grab the top here. Oops, let's grab these guys. Grab Z. Grab Z. All right. Now, what 
let's shift. Oops. We can do as since we want it in the middle of here, we can do shift S cursor to selected. Shift A cylinder. Make sure it doesn't cross that line. Sometimes it does funky things and that happens. We're going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to leave these engines a little bigger. So not that big. Scale down a bit. <clears throat> Scale in the Y direction. Are I grab this guy like that, scale him down. L to grab him all, grab in the Y direction, move that a bit into there. I think that's good. Then I'm going to edge select, I'm going to ring select this guy. I'm going to grab him. I want to move him out a bit. Oops, grab him in the Y direction. Move him out a bit. Select this face. Scale that wider. And set scale. Extrude scale. All right. I'm trying to decide if we should leave these guys flat or not. Let's try to see what it looks like if we select that. Shift control. Z. Sometimes it just takes playing around a bit to see what it looks like. Hmm. Not bad. I don't know if it would look good to have some blasters on there, but let's just leave it. I think J looks like J will select that also. All right. So let's go back to solid view. Let's go back to face view. Let's assign this to our material. Let's go back, select all of them. Let's unwrap faces, reset. UV editing, grab them all, going to scale them down, going to grab them. Let's make this a dark orange. All right, what we're going to do is grab all these guys. Actually, I want to grab these guys. Keep grabbing, keep grabbing, keep grabbing, keep grabbing. All right, grab and let's make those a white. Let's give a white stripe there. All right, now we're going to grab these guys and let's make a. It's kind of hard to see the highlight with this orange. Let's make a dark cockpit there. All right, let's make some interesting things here. Let's grab every other one. 
technically not going to be able to see this, so it's probably not a big deal to do all of them, but just for completeness, let's grab that. Go white. All right. So we got our small little ship. So now we got our medium ship, we got our small ship, and we got our large ship. Let's save this guy. All right, we have our three ships. Now, on the next video, what it will do is um, do some final setup and export these ships, bring them into our game, and replace those boring old little um, cubes that I made for ships and put in some real ships and get them working.